How to make glitch effect in Premiere Pro To create the effect, you need to choose beautiful videos. For these purposes, I recommend using the viewer. There is a huge amount of photos and videos from the most popular resources. To find them, you do not need to leave the program, which greatly speeds up the work process. Let's select this video and click import. Everything, our video on the timeline. Let's add another video. And using the example of two different videos, we will figure out how to create glitch effects and glitch transitions. Let's adjust the video size. Great, you're done. Go to the Effects tab, and we find the VR Digital Glitch effect. The default settings for the effect have been applied. Let's go to the settings. Distortion Color Distortion Let's set it to the maximum to separate the colors. The following settings change the distortion. You can set them up to your liking. Also in the noise section. Make the distortion that suits you. Here is using the random seed item. We can animate the movement of the noise in the frame. Create keyframes and set the value. The higher the value, the faster the noise will move. Master Amplitude. This value controls the saturation of our effect. Setting it to zero will not see the effect. Putting 100 will show all the effect settings. Now with the help of keyframes we will set different values. Let's place the points every 3 frames. And alternating values from 0 to 100. Great, now we have this result. Moving on to the first point where our effect begins. Let's change the scale and location here. And then in each frame we will change the position. This will give us this shaking effect.
Let's go back to the first key. Let's cut the video frame by frame. And randomly duplicate the frames on the top layer and delete some frames. That would be a black screen. Change the opacity to 50. Increase and offset the frame. In the rest of the frames, also change the transparency to 50. The effect can be copied and press command plus V. Excellent. Now in the color tab, we will paint these frames in red, blue and green colors. We've now added some frames with different and vibrant colors. They will make the effect more dynamic. Now let's figure out how to make a transition in this style. Place the second video in the stitching location. And we cut it one frame at a time. We remove some of them. And overlay our transparent frames from the last video with the top layer. By the same principle, you can make this transition longer or shorter. If you make it in length, then you can use the effect on the first frames of the second video. VR Digital Glitch. Twice this effect will look cooler if you add a suitable sound to it. These are in the hyper kit. Glitch sound. Let's set it as we need and cut it off. Also in the viewer you can find filters that create a similar effect. For example this one. After adding it to the timeline, double click and go to the built in layers. There is clearly a place for our video. We insert it and remove the excess part. Also, here, you can delete unnecessary ones, since our video was shorter. 
click enter. And while we are rendering, you have time to subscribe to our channel so as not to miss new lessons. And this way we quickly get a video with a cool effect.